What if I told you that since 2010, no team has been able to defend the African Cup of Nations title successfully? Can Senegal, the current defending champion, break the spell as they prepare for their opening game at the 2023 African Cup of Nations? Senegal, ranked second in Africa and 20th in the world, is currently in Group C alongside Cameroon, ranked 7th in Africa and 46th in the world, Guinea, ranked 15th in Africa and 80th in the world, and the Gambia, ranked 35th in Africa and 126th in the world. Senegal is no doubt one of the favourites to leave this year's AFCON. However, it is not totally clear if this team can maintain the same level of quality and intensity after most of their key players have moved to the Gulf region in the past year. Koulibaly, Sadio Mane, Gouelye, Ismail Assa, just to name a few, are key players for Senegal in this competition. Cameroon is among the three nations that have successfully defended the Afghan title, accomplishing this feat by prevailing over Senegal in the penalty shootout during the 2002 tournament. With five Afghan trophies, Cameroon is the second most successful team trading behind Egypt with seven Afghan titles. Samuel Eto still remains the overall top goal scorer at this competition with 18 goals. However, among current active players, Andre Ayu with 10 goals, Vincent Abubakar with 9 goals, and Sadio Mane with 8 goals could break the record at this year's AFCON if the Bacasso Miracle score at least 10 goals at this competition. It is interesting to note that even though FIFA directed European clubs to release African players for the AFCON by January 3rd, Andre Onana is yet to arrive. Manchester United and Cameroon negotiated allowing Onana play against Sotia Mospor on January 14th a day before Cameroon faces Guinea in their opening game. And as a result, there are reports that he might miss the opening game due to this arrangement. Funny right? Given Guinea's potential, it is expected that they should be advancing further in this competition as they did in the early 2000s. Now the captain Keita bears the responsibility of guiding them back to their former level of success. Since its international debut in 2014, Keita has experienced limited success with the national team. Despite amassing over 15 international caps and scoring 11 goals for Guinea, the team's performance at the AFCON has been disappointing, existing at the group stages in 2015 and then the round of 16 in 2019 and 2021. The Gambia, known for the inspiring underdog story in the previous AFCON, returns once more. In the last competition, they entered as the lowest ranked team, 150th, and made history by advancing from the group, defeating Mauritania and Tunisia and drawing with Mali. In the round of 16, they edged past Guinea before being eliminated by host Cameroon in the quarter-final with a 2-0 loss. Despite their underdog status, the Scorpions are back with teams wary of their potential. They secured qualification in dramatic fashion, scoring two late goals against Congo. The Gambia's belief in themselves is now their greatest asset. Tenda will face the Gambia on Monday the 15th of January, while Cameroon faces Guinea a few hours later in their opening game at this year's AFCON. I see Cameroon and Senegal making it out of this group. However, this is the AFCON, Expect surprises because